why did Frodo have to leave the Shire? Well, first, it's important to note that the books were really long, and frankly, even the appendices that had notes of what happened after the books, those were long enough to be considered a book in themselves, and frankly, the movies couldn't really tell everything. But it generally does seem strange, because after Frodo completes his epic quest, he seemed like it's now time for his life to go back to normal. Right? And he deserves a nice break. But him almost it doesn't really take very long though for Frodo to wind up leaving Middle Earth, and it's sad. Why is that? And why did he have to leave Middle Earth? Was the author just being mean to poor Frodo? Well, no. And there actually is an in-story reason on why he leaves Middle-earth, if you're willing to read the books. However, I really don't think anyone's going to be satisfied with, you should just simply read the books. So, really quick, I want to answer, why did Frodo leave Middle-earth? Well... I think an important thing to note is, remember when you heard Lady Galadriel in the movie telling Elrond about the prophecy? They were say, she was saying that Elrond foresaw that the quest would actually claim Frodo's life, at least in the movie. But the weird thing is, is that by the end of the movie, Frodo doesn't die. So, were Lady Galadriel and Elrond wrong? Well, no. The quest had claimed his life. Just not in the way everybody thought. Nobody probably wanted to go back to the Shire more than Frodo. But if you read the books, you would have known that the Shire gets gets attacked by Saruman before Saruman dies. So the Shire is still there, and it's still cool, but it's damaged. And also, if you would have read the book, you would know that the Sackville Bagginses and others have been wanting Bag End and all the treasures in it for years. And frankly... Very few people would have been able to take the ring to Rivendell like Gandalf wanted, and only Frodo was willing to do it. And who knows how long that would have happened. If Frodo had left and not sold his house, they would have done the exact same thing that they tried to do with Bilbo. Bilbo was this close to losing his house in The Hobbit because they were trying to sell it, because they proclaimed him dead. It was only because he arrived just in time to stop them that his house wasn't sold. So sooner or later, Frodo was going to lose Bag End, and he didn't want to sell it. It was his childhood home. But someone had to take the ring to Rivendell, which means Frodo had to leave, which means the house had to be sold. So when Frodo comes back, the house isn't there for him. Now it belongs to somebody else. But, well, that doesn't matter. He still has all his friends, right? Well, not exactly. I mean, think about it. Legolas and Gimli are good friends, but they live really, really far away. And frankly, Aragorn was a great ranger and protector, but now he's a king, and he has to take care of Gondor, and he has a family to raise. And Frodo probably realized this. This doesn't mean he doesn't like Frodo, or he's not Frodo's friend anymore. He still is, and he still would help Frodo if he needed it. But the problem is he's busy and has things to do now. And on another note, 
Gandalf is gone. You see, some people think that Gandalf's death was lame because he comes back. But when he came back, that's actually a great storytelling move, actually. Because when he comes back, it's not to just simply hang out with old friends, even though that's what Gandalf probably wants. In reality, when the wizards came over to Middle-earth, they weren't intended to come back until they died and went to heaven. The only reason Gandalf essentially came back from wizard heaven and came back to help was because he was sent back to deal with evil wizards like Saruman and help deal with the threat of the One Ring. After that, he had to immediately leave. So Frodo realized that Gandalf had to leave. And frankly, Elrond and the other elves had to leave too. And remember that Frodo still has that wound that was never completely healed, which was made worse throughout his various adventures going to Mount Doom. So who knows what would have happened or how long Frodo would have lived. The wound could have eventually have killed Frodo. But if Frodo went into the West, he could have a chance to have his wound fully healed. But to add to that, aside from the Shire being damaged, his friends being, well, you know, and Bag End being gone, you'd be like, hey, he still has his friends, all right? He has Sam and Mary and Pippin. Well, yeah, and they're always his friends, but Mary and Pippin essentially become the next Bilbo Baggins and go on many adventures. So it's not like they'll be hanging out in the Shire all the time. And Sam actually becomes mayor of the Shire and actually has a wife and kids. So he can't just pop in and out and hang out with Frodo. And in the works, Frodo actually does yearly suffer from his wounds. And the whole journey to Mount Doom was also a pretty scarring experience for Frodo. So why did Frodo ultimately leave Middle-earth? It wasn't because Frodo didn't want to be in the Shire or he didn't want to, like enjoy himself but it was because he lost so much he was scarred by the experiences he had over time and he suffered severe wounds leaving middle earth could help him heal that also the wounds that he sustained may have shortened his life he might live his full intended life if he left middle earth also the Shire was severely damaged anyway, and also, to note, all of his friends were kind of busy. I mean, Sam becoming mayor and having a wife and kids, and Merry and Pippin adventuring, and Aragorn king, and, well, all, Gandalf had to leave because, you know, he died. If Frodo left on the last ship, then he wouldn't have to say to bye to Bilbo or Gandalf or the elves of Rivendell. He could have a chance to start over and be happy. But it is important to know that just simply getting back Bag End was really not an option at the point when he finally did get back. So while Frodo did ultimately have to leave the Shire, I think it was ultimately in everyone's best interests. Because I personally, on a personal note, I personally don't think Frodo would have lived more than a good 10 or 20 years if he had stayed in the Shire. Because, well, he was pretty severely wounded by a cursed magical blade. But now, 
that he's in the West, he can live out his years fully. But this might make you ask, why didn't he invite Sam? He's his best friend, right? Why not ask him to come along? Well, he didn't ask him to come for the exact same reason that Bilbo didn't ask Frodo to come. Both knew that they would gladly come if they were asked. But when Bilbo left, he realized that while he needed to leave the Shire, Frodo didn't need to leave, and he still had a life in the Shire to live. And he wanted Frodo to have that. And Frodo realized the same thing. Sam had a life in the Shire. And he wanted him to live that. Maybe they'll all meet up again together in heaven, but in a sense, Frodo did have to leave, and it was in everyone's best interests. So Frodo mourned the fact that he had to leave, but he was also looking forward to the possible future. And I do think that after Frodo left, I feel like Merry and Pippin and Sam... I feel like they actually came to understand his decision and respect him for it. And I think they were happy for him. And that's the short answer on why Frodo left the Shire. If you feel like I left out anything that you would like me to add, then feel free to let me know. And thank you, and please have an awesome day. Ha <laughs>